But our attitudes are the most important factor that determine our success and our potential here in this life. An unbeliever with a good attitude has more potential than a believer with a bad attitude. And so just because we're Christians does not mean that we have good attitudes or that we're gonna be happy or successful in life, but we can be, that's the good news. Attitude, the dictionary defines attitude as a settled way of thinking or feeling about someone or something typically reflected in a person's behavior. And so attitude is typically expressed in our behavior. Nations have attitudes. Countries have attitudes. Businesses, some of the people that you do business with, your favorite people that you do business with have great attitudes. Churches have attitudes. Let me say, if you wanna be happy, go to this church right here. This is the happiest place. No, I'm serious. It is such a happy, happy place. Pastor Ed and Lisa have been speaking for us this year at our marriage conferences around the country, our EXO conferences. And their message is they're talking about the importance of Jesus through whatever you go through, and they're just sharing their testimony, including losing their daughter you know, last year and all of that. But they did just go through all the things that they've been through over the years. And their attitudes are unbelievable. They're so Christ-like. It is no surprise that this church would have the attitude that you have, but I'm telling you, it's, it's real. It's a genuine thing that Fellowship Church just has this incredible attitude. Cities have attitudes, did you know that? Las Vegas has an attitude. New York City has an attitude. The Dallas area, we have an attitude. We just know we're better than everybody. We, we, we can't help it. People have attitudes. So, Romans chapter 12, do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So the Bible says, don't be conformed to the world. So you have friends at school that have bad attitudes and the Bible says, don't be like that. You be transformed. You have a Christ-like attitude. And see, even though we're saved, it doesn't mean that our attitudes are different. It doesn't mean that our minds have been transformed. But as believers, we should not be conformed to the world. We should be transformed and we should be Christ-like. That's the whole process of discipleship. So a good question to ask ourselves sometime is, is my attitude the same as it was before I received Christ? Is, has my attitude changed since I accepted Christ? And so it, it should be changing and, and being transformed. John Maxwell wrote, wrote a book called The Winning Attitude. And here's what he said about attitude in his book. Attitude is the advanced man of our true selves. Its roots are inward, but its fruits are outward. It is our best friend and worst enemy. It is more honest and more consistent than our words. It is the thing that draws people to us or repels them. It is never content until it is expressed. It is the librarian of our past, it is the speaker of our present, and it is the prophet of our future. And all of those things are true about our attitudes. President Thomas Jefferson said, nothing can stop the man with the right mental attitude from achieving his goal. Nothing on earth can help the man with a wrong mental attitude. If you've got the right attitude, nothing can stop you. If you've got a wrong attitude, nothing can help you. Here's some truths about our attitudes. The first is we choose our attitude. It's, it's never because of our condition of our life or something that's been thrust upon us. There's a man named Viktor Frankl who was a Jew in Auschwitz concentration camp in World War II. His mother was killed by the Nazis. His brother and his sister, his brother and his wife both died in concentration camp. Only he and his sister survived. And in the midst of him being in Auschwitz, six million Jews were being killed. His family was being killed around him. Here's what Viktor Frankl said in concentration camp. I will never hate the Nazis, regardless of what they do to me. And I will be a happy person for the rest of my life. In concentration camp. It was the difference between living and dying for him. He died, at 19, he died in 1997. He was a motivational speaker, an author, a neurologist, and a psychiatrist. And he is living proof that we can always overcome our circumstances. We're never the victim of our circumstances. Here's another truth about attitude, and that is attitudes are not caused by people or circumstances. 